Okay, this one's been a fun little experiment, so let's get into it. Here with ray tracing turned on, we're only simulating one light, no bounce lighting, no ambient light or anything. So if a piece of geometry can't see the light directly, it's not getting lit. So anything that's in shadow, for example, will come out pitch black. We can see this geometry here by the wall and the wall itself are completely black. They're completely blocked by the sun. In here, if we look down into this cavern, it's completely black except for the, the high bit of the wall that can see the sun. And in this room here, we've only the floor's only lit by the skylight there. None of the rest of the room is getting any light at all. So let's go back here where we started and turn on one bounce light. So here I should make a quick comment about my random function. I see it with the pixels position in the world. So if the camera is not moving around, the random pattern on the wall should remain static. You can see though on things that are animated that are quite noisy or when the camera flies around it's a bit noisy. But hopefully soon I'll start filtering this and make it look a lot smoother. YouTube's video compression can hide this as well sometimes. So what's going on here? Why is the floor black but the wall lit? So ideally we'd have a ray of light come down, hit this bit of geometry, then scatter off in every single direction. One of those rays would hit the wall here, illuminating it. Then that light would scatter off in every direction. And one of those rays should hit the floor here, but we're only simulating one bounce, so the floor remains black. So let's have a look at what we're actually doing. For each pixel on the screen, we send out a ray and see what geometry it hits. Then we cast a ray towards our light to see if we're in shadow or not. Then from that point, we cast out 16 other rays. Let's follow one of those rays. From where that ray intersects, we cast another ray back to our light source to see if this point is in shadow. We accumulate the light back at our original point by computing the attenuation between the two points. Ideally, we would compute a second bounce, but we're already getting close to 70 million rays per frame. You can see in spaces like this it's quite dark. Obviously a second bounce would help illuminate that. Also some HDR would help expose whatever light did make it in there. Or in reality you would probably just hand place some more light in there. Down here now you can see that the pillars have all been exposed to light and you can make them out. In here now you can see the light coming through the skylight is spilling out onto the wall. But like before, because we don't have a second bounce, the floor remains black. In reality these surfaces wouldn't be completely flat, so there would be some light spillage and you wouldn't get this hard line. This room also suffers from being quite black due to there being not much direct light getting through. And with one bounce, the light doesn't propagate very far. So yeah, we've only got 16 samples for the, for the bounce light, which obviously is where all, a lot of this noise comes from. There's been a lot of work done out there to filter this out to make it look a lot smoother and using a lot less than 16 samples. Obviously, we could crank the sample count up, but that would hurt performance. The real way forward is to filter these noisy outputs. The hardware ray tracing makes this sort of lighting quite simple to implement. In fact, to write the shader for this was way less work than making this video. Anyway, thanks for watching.